Over the past decade, Asia Pacific has more than halved its malaria cases. But in 2020, health systems had to bear the dual burden of combating malaria, as well as managing COVID-19 infections. Multiple countries face disruptions to malaria services due to strained capacities. Lockdowns, restrictions, and fear of contracting COVID-19 also undermined past progress and malaria elimination efforts. Despite all of this, we saw remarkable stories of resilience and collaboration. Thanks to strong leadership commitment, malaria elimination goals and activities were reprioritized and sustained. Malaysia issued an administrative order early on to ensure interventions continued without any interruptions. At the same time, India's commitments at the national and subnational level ensured a continued focus on malaria during the pandemic. And lastly, Lao PDR, in fact, launched and completed an accelerated elimination strategy for P. falciparum malaria that targeted the residual hotspots. Many quickly adapted their strategies and developed innovative approaches to continue delivering services. Cambodia adapted quickly, pivoting from in-person training to video training for its village malaria workers, even in the most rural parts of the country. While Pakistan swiftly adopted a whole of society approach to its distribution campaigns, reaching even the most remote tribal districts. And finally, the Solomon Islands leveraged their community networks to deliver long-lasting insecticide-treated nets. Additionally, countries integrated COVID-19 and malaria responses to optimize limited health resources. Sri Lanka integrated its COVID-19 quarantine procedures and malaria surveillance efforts for all their international arrivals. A small country like Bhutan, on the other hand, successfully revitalized its community action groups and trained them to ensure service delivery for both COVID-19 and malaria. And Indonesia's high burden provinces integrated screening and testing for both diseases. If there is a silver lining to the pandemic, it is these examples of extraordinary resilience, leadership, adaptation, and integration. But we also know progress across the region remains uneven. There has not been a more urgent time to continue working together to end malaria by 2030.